Hey guys and welcome back to this Tottenham Hotspur FIFA 18 career mode. Today is the 1st of January, first official day that the transfer window is then open. We've got a six point lead at the top. I've been reading through the comments on the previous video and added some players to the shortlist. Let's just have a look in terms of position who is on there now. We've got Jimenez, that's a bit of a backup. Um, Tagliafico, Ryan Sessegnon was commented a lot and I know he's been linked to Spurs in real life. Christian Pulisic is on there. Um, Kovacic, who we're in negotiations with, but Real Madrid asking too much. Saul Asensio is on there, but he's not on a pre-contract and he's valued stupidly high. We don't have that kind of money. We didn't sign Ross Barkley last time out. A few of you suggesting we try and get bail by offering Mares in the other direction. And I've added Casper Dolberg to this list in case we can get a deal done which involves Fernando Llorente going in the other direction. And before we jump into the Swansea game, I just want to say another shout out to One Football who have kindly sponsored this episode once again. I've got the app here, and England play tonight, for those of you that don't know. I'm just going to jump on and see what it says. So it confirms their qualification, and that is all that matters according to our very own Harry Kane, who scored the winning goal in, let's have a look, the 94th minute. I did watch the game, but England left it very, very late. And speaking of Harry Kane, let's have a look at the goal scoring charts, because he is flying in this career mode. 14 goals, he's in line for the golden boot. And according to one football, Marcus Rashford was the best player on the pitch. And I completely agree with him. He is a very good young talent. A few of you have suggested signing him as well. So maybe that's something we can look at towards the end of the window. But massive shout out to One Football once again for the sponsor. Link to the app is down below. So we're at that point of the season where the fixtures come in thick and fast. You can imagine Swansea have got some tired players, as have we. They're playing with a very narrow formation, but a world-class front three, in my opinion. Well, particularly a couple of years ago when Bonnie was in his prime. Renato Sanchez, Vieto and Bonnie is their front three. That is very dangerous. So is ours. Christian Eriksen being rested because his fitness is slightly below the others. Harry Winks, Robbie Brady getting a rare start. But the team and the formation is as you were. Oh, what a challenge from Robbie Brady. Here's Winks. Needs a runner ahead of him. Or does he? Might do the whole thing by himself here, Harry Winks. What a run. What a goal. This guy's unreal. He does the most magical things, even though he's not anywhere near one of the top rated players in the squad he's definitely one for the future he was in the England squad tonight for the first time didn't manage to get a game I say tonight because obviously I'm recording this um, on Thursday and Harry Winks has just scored the most incredible individual goal mess up plays the ball into Vieto lays the ball off Renato Sanchez don't give him time oh my god he's hit the post we've escaped there can't give any of these front three any space in and around the box because they will score Jan Vertonghen going on the run. What are you doing, Jan? He's just getting tired. That's what he's doing. But he's found Deli Alley, who's got away from his man. He's got Kane in and around the box. They're backing off Deli Alley. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That has hit the bar and the post and then come back out. Can't get any closer without scoring, I don't think. Robbie Brady looks up, sees the run of Deli Alley and picks him out with a wonderful pass. Alley will get there. Nice turn. Knocks it inside. Mahrez bursting forward. Mahrez has got there. Drills it across goal. Bartley. With a crucial interception and Swansea are going to escape without conceding. Big winner from Alderweireld, Harry Winks. Knocks the ball out to Harry Kane. Two Harrys linking up well, as usual. Goretzka. Ali. There's space on the right-hand side for Aurier. Pokes it forward. Kane. No angles against Harry Kane and Fabianski had to make the save. Anybody is... Well, Kane especially is capable from scoring from all angles. Harry Winks in the box. Going to lay it off now. Goretzka looks to finesse one and that is unbelievable. That is absolutely class. Once more, it's another beauty from Leon Goretzka. Not always in the team, but always effective. So one of the new changes that EA released in tonight's patch is changes to the goal net animation. And I think they looked a little bit looser there. Previously, when the ball was hit the back of the net, it's just sort of been rock solid and just fallen to the floor. But it'll be interesting to see, as hopefully we smash more goals in, what the changes really do look like. Bonnie going to chase on this loose ball. Sanchez goes across. Bonnie has lost possession. I think that's going to be a Tottenham throw. No, it's not. Because Schmelzer keeps the ball in play. Vieto looks for Sanchez. Vertonghen had his pocket picked. Mm. Right on the stroke of half time. Didn't deal with it. And they've come within a whisker of pulling the goal back. Here's Swansea. But we've got the lead. A double lead. That's what matters. Ali knocks the ball out. Robbie Brady. Nice touch inside. Takes him away from his man. What can Brady do here? He's left footed, of course. They're backing off him. Fabianski. Has to parry that away. Good run from the left back. Unlucky not to score. 
Schmelzer. Oh, that's a nice ball. Here is Vieto. Left footed, of course, I think. Ball is played on to Bonnie. Back to Leon Britton, who tried to just guide it past Lloris. Not enough power on it, though. Swansea coming into this game a little bit now. About 25 minutes left, so it's not out of their reach. Still more than capable of getting something from this, but we just need to, to keep that back line strong. There's a chance here for Britain. Britain finds Fulton, and they are back in this game. Defenders wandering all over the show, and it's a youngster that's got Swansea back into this. Bonnie found, uh, I think it was Britain who played the ball through there. First time pass, Brady and Vertonghen getting in each other's way. Okay, interesting last 20 minutes here, definitely. I don't know whether to go defensive, but I'm a bit reluctant to do that because I feel like it invites pressure. I'd rather go up the other end and grab another goal, goal even. Here's Aurier, he's found the youngster, Edwards. Just tried to lift it over Fabianski, but the keeper got there first. Swansea coming forward now, they can smell blood. And they want to get themselves at least a point out of this game. Brady doesn't really clear it. Here is Vidma. Plays the ball in. Norton's first touch. He was offside anyway. Final minute then of normal time. We've got the ball where we want it. In the Swansea half. Might spread it out to Aurier. He's got the youngster Marcus Edwards lurking out wide. Edwards tries to bend one into that far top corner. Maybe would have been better heading for the corner and trying to keep the ball there. But I think the referee is about to blow the full-time whistle. We're deep into stoppage time. Swansea on the attack. They haven't got time to equalise. Big win. I say a big win. Any win away from home in the Premier League is a good win. And we needed it. See, interestingly, Kasper Dolberg has a release clause of £23.2 I don't want to be spending that type of cash, particularly if we can just do one striker out, one striker in. Going to negotiate and see if we can get Lorente going the other way. They want a left winger. They do not want... Fernando Llorente. So that gives me a choice of Robbie Brady, Hyung Min Son, who I'm definitely not going to let go, by the way, or Anthony Giorgio. Now, what we could do is offer Robbie Brady, I know he hasn't been here long, and then sign Ryan Sessegnon to give us that backup left-back cover, which might be a good deal because a lot of you were not in favour of bringing Robbie Brady in anyway. I've offered Robbie Brady and £12.5 million. They're saying no, they want £19.6 million. And a sell-on clause for Robbie Brady, if he's going to go the other way. They're just being out of order. They've been out of order. I offered Robbie Brady plus 14 mil, and they've just full-on rejected it. Even though we could essentially just buy him out. They want 19.6 million. No, because that's more than what his release clause fee would be worth. 15.5 million plus Brady, final offer. Final offer. I'm getting angry now. They're not, they're not going to do it. Why would I exchange Brady when I could just play an extra 3 million and just buy him outright anyway and they couldn't reject it because that's his release clause? Couldn't come to an agreement. Literally could not come within, uh, within an agreement. They would not budge at all. Can't go for Pulisic because he's currently out on loan, but I can bring in Sessegnon. But I don't really need to do that because at the moment we've got Brady and Rose. So I don't really know what to do. Before we do any more transfer business, we're going to travel to the Vitality Stadium to take on Bournemouth. As FA Cup season kind of begins for us, this is our first involvement, early Jan, this is a competition I want to win. The draw hasn't really been that kind to us either, in these early stages it's quite common for a Premier League team to get a lower division side. But we've got Bournemouth away, 4-4-1-1, Jermaine Defoe, a familiar enemy if you like for Tottenham. We are going with a very strong team, formation as you were, front three and defence pretty much as you were. Winks and Goretzka both rewarded for their good performances last time out with a spot in midfield together. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bournemouth going to hit us early. Jermaine Defoe, that is sweaty as you like. And Ryan Fraser, two and a half minutes on the clock, gives the home side the lead. Not what we needed at all. I can't believe Defoe's passed that. I'd have done the same, to be fair. Look at it. That ball from Wilson. It's borderline offside, but he is on. Always good to strike at the benefit of the doubt, and Fraser scores. Here is Charlie Daniels. Scored an absolute screamer against Man City, if you remember. That's a good ball as well. Delaney's picked it up. Delaney plays it inside. Hugo Lloris with the save. But look who's there again. It's like deja vu. Ryan Fraser smashing the ball into an all but empty net. And it's 2-0 to the home side now. First save from Lloris was brilliant. Don't know what Alderweireld's doing there. Lloris does well, but Fraser hooks it back in from a tight angle. We've got to wake up. We've got to wake up. We're going to switch to an attacking mindset just temporarily because we need to get ourselves back into this cup tie. Nothing we've done so far has come off at all. Picked up an injury, as you can see there. Alderweireld had a little collision off the ball, and it's affecting him. But I feel like if we're going to get back into this cup tie, we need a goal before half-time. Deli Ali looking to make that happen. Instead, he goes back to Harry Winks. That touch was so bad. Too many Harrys on this pitch as well. Harry Arter bringing the ball forward. Finds Delaney. Jermaine Defoe could be away. Alderweireld injured, trying his best to get back. 
he has got that just. We'll assess that injury again at half time. He's only got three minutes to get through. But look at our passing. So bad. Wills oh no. No, no. Oh man, we beat Swansea and now we're getting battered by Bournemouth in the FA Cup. Oh, our form is so inconsistent. Oh, Callum Wilson, what a turn. No way. No. What's going on here? Seriously. Fraser's got a first half hat trick. I don't know how that ball hasn't been cleared. That ball went straight through. Oh no, it didn't. He just beat Danny Rose to it. Lloris though. Should be better than that. Straight down the middle of the goal. If you stand still, you save that. So this is how we're lining up for the second half. 4-0 down. Pretty much need a miracle. Deli Alley pokes it onto Kane. Harry Arter chasing him. Kane's made a bit of room. Finds Son. Son cuts back. He's onto his right foot now. Hume means Son. It's been blocked. Angel Correa is there. And that goes about an inch wide. Bournemouth have the corner. It's a poor one. Correa finds Eriksen. Could be a counter-attack on this. Angel Correa, look at the speed of the bloke. Go on, mate. He's got Harry Kane up there for company. Correa might go all the way by himself. Instead, he plays the ball in. Kane with a touch. Begovic, it's looped up and gone wide. Two good chances already at the start of this half. Ball is just poked forward. That is just nothing more than a hopeful toe poke. Here's Josh King. One up. Hugo, my friend. Hugo Lloris. Sort your life out. He looked odds on favourite. Just to, I brought him out. And just as he went to pick the ball up, he stopped and then was beaten pretty much at his near post. Oh, we're getting carved open. <laughs> Obviously, I'm all out attack and I'm only playing with two defenders right now. But this is embarrassing. Corner comes in. Vertonghen with the header. That was heading tops. Begovic with the save. We're just playing for pride now, really. Eriksen knocks it forward. Aurier finds Correa. Never shy of a goal. Cuts inside. Tries to bend it past Begovic. It was so tame. There you go, full-time whistle goes. The only reason we lost that, 6-0. Because as soon as we went 2-0 down, I pretty much went all-out attack. I was getting impatient. We had to do something, and we've been battered by Bournemouth. Breaking news, player of the year announced. And no surprise, yours truly, CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Transfer offer coming in then after that game for Danny Rose. They obviously weren't watching, but it wasn't all his fault. 24 and a half, or 25.4 million, I should say from Sevilla unfortunately for them Danny Rose going absolutely nowhere Liverpool can do one as well same offer same outcome rejected not a chance so another youth scout update we need to sign a player and we need to give him some game time so just going through looks as though it's going to be Pablo Acosta that we sign he's got the best overall and the best potential I think so let's bring him in let's see if we can get him some game time there's no way I'm letting that Bournemouth defeat be the last game of this episode. I've changed the formation as well. 4-2-3-1. You can see the lineup there. Let's see how Everton are playing. They're playing narrow. Plie was awarded Premier League Player of the Month. So he's going to be the man to watch. Ericsson, what a turn. And what a ball. Ashley Williams man marking Harry Kane. Because he's staying very tight to him. And Kane pinches possession off him. He's got runners left and right. He lays it left. Deli Alley looks to slot it home. Pickford with the save. And then there's a bit of a scramble. And Harry Kane with a typical poacher's finish. Puts us one out inside 15 minutes. So Kane picked it up initially, fed it through to Ali. Shot was saved. Wasn't a great finish. Pickford done well between him and the defender. And then they messed it up a little bit. It's, uh, he went tumbling. So did Kane, but he'll take the goal. Yeah, he will take the goal. Look at that. Going down the right. Finds Ericsson. Lovely touch from Ericsson. Ooh, he nearly found the far corner as well. Pickford bats the ball away. Ali's going to pick it up. Ali's going to lay it off. Danny Rose. Subject of many offers. Finds Mares. What a turn. Still going. No, he's not. Not anymore. Although he is now. Oh, that's me. Oh, it deflected though. Oh, I can't even speak. Mares. Ericsson. Dembele. Ericsson. Ericsson to Kane. Kane tries to feed it into the corner. Pickford makes a little bit of a mess of it, but scrambles it away. Ashley Williams. Here's Ericsson. Storming forward. We are all over Everton here. Oh, that's offside, surely. Mares. Oh, what a finish. Shame it's not going to count. Or is it? No, clearly off. Here's Gilfie Sigurdsson. Tristan turning. Schneidlin into play eight. Don't let him shoot. Or oh, Gilfie. Oh, my word. Smash that out. Anywhere will do. We got away with that. Danny Rose looks to play the ball early for Harry Kane. Can he get away from Michael Keane? Easier said than done. Keane is fairly quick across the ground. But so is Harry Kane at the moment. 
He's on form. Premier League's top scorer came from distance. Ashley Williams with the block. Corner then. Chance to double our lead just before the break. And what was I saying about Harry Kane? He's on form. Two goals for the hitman in the first half. And a 2-0 lead going into half-time. Good delivery from Ericsson and Kane just rose above everybody and generated great power. V8 running forward. He's got the pace over Jan Vertonghen as well. He was desperately trying to get back. Cross comes in towards Rooney, I think. Rooney hits a volley and that was awkward. I think that was heading in. Aurier bursts onto this loose ball. Bombing forward now. Go on, mate. Looks for Dembele. Dembele turns into Kane. Still looking for that hat trick. Might get it here. He's got some space for himself. Oh, it's gone wide. Unlucky. Good play from Harry Kane. Oh, Danny Rose. Good header. Deli Ali. Moussa Dembele. He can hit them. Moussa Dembele. Oh, ho, ho, that was good. That was very unlucky. That would have been a screamer. That was a long way out. I thought that just come back off the post, but it turned out to be a brilliant save. Not sure how the ball's gone through his legs there, but an absolutely brilliant fingertip save by Jordan Pickford. Look at that. That's the updates for you. Great Dyer picks the ball up. Ericsson into Kane. Kane helps it on. Deli Ali inside looking for Ericsson. That was unselfish. Could have gone for goal. Probably should have in hindsight. Looking for Kane. Still wanting that hat trick. Ali. Christian Eriksen could get there. Touches it on. Kane could get there. He's lifted it over the keeper. But the offside flag denies us once again. Into stop his time now. Referee's about to blow. It doesn't look like Harry Kane's going to get the hat trick that he wanted. But we will be getting... A three of some kind, and that is, of course, three points. Michael Keane playing as a left winger now. Can he whip a ball into the box? No, instead he finds Plie, who will whip it in. Klaassen is there. Oh, the Virod hooks it clear. And the referee, any danger now, ref? There you go. Brings an end to this game. It's all about the inconsistent form. Can't get my head around it. Win, lose, and lose in style. Win again, maybe draw a game, draw a game, win a game. If we can turn these draws into wins, our form's going to look a lot better. So we end today's episode. Obviously, it seems like it's been a bad one, but that was all FA Cup stuff. We are eight points clear of Chelsea with a game in hand. Arsenal are in third. We've got a game in hand on them as well. It's looking really rosy as far as the Premier League table is concerned. Manchester City starting to climb. They're up into sixth place. Liverpool's still in decline. They're down in 16th, which is such a surprise considering the squad they've got. Maybe we can get some of their players because I'm guessing they won't be happy and see if we can get them on the cheap. We are still in the transfer window, of course, so do please keep your transfer suggestions coming in. Check out the One Football app with the description uh, in the description down below is the link for that. Do go and download it. It is an absolutely awesome app. But that's where we're going to end this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the thumbs up button as well. And I'll see you next time.